Head, head, on over to RidleyReport.com and purchase an ad. federal elections. Hi. You guys can't put signs that are unattended for no reason for somebody to be holding them. The moderator said it was fine. Yeah, are you the moderator? Like it's it's not. Moderator. I'm from the Attorney General. So, all right, so you're going to tell the moderator <laughs> yeah. that because there are some yes. that are taped oh, to the things over there. Oh, did you get a letter about the Bedford Police oh, Department? No, I, well, I, I haven't personally, but I'm happy to talk to the moderator. You need, you can't have the signs All right, because there's some tape to the... Okay, okay. So I'm happy to talk to them. So no hey, Ryan. Hi, I'm the moderator. Oh. Okay, so that's a lady from the Attorney General's office, apparently, who is telling folks over here that they can't have signs over there. So it's this, utterly ridiculous. Well, are they are they applying this equally? Who knows? Probably not. Yeah. Well, no, no, the Attorney General. Somebody probably Somebody called the bad. Attorney General, and I have an idea who might that have been. Well, she was pretty chill about having a camera in her face, so I'll give her that. These people are just so all full of themselves. They need to... Yeah, and that was actually one of the few times I really have. I mean, people accuse me of putting a camera in people's face, but with that AG's gal, she was so close to me that that's literally kind of what I was doing. Okay, so many of you probably are going to be pissed at me because I haven't interviewed uh, Emily O'Neill there. I did interview her at Porkfest once, and she got like 10,000 hits. Uh, I guess she used to be a Romney supporter, came over to Ron Paul, but... Uh, I uh, wasn't able to get an interview with her today. I, not everybody says yes all the time. I think actually she ran for Miss New Hampshire a while back, but I, I thought she won, but apparently not. that's inaccurate. So one of the things that's kind of nice about the, uh, the Bedford polling place is that there's always a lot of people here, even if it's a primary, not because there's a large ver voter turnout, but because there's a... But because of the fact that there is, um, there's only one polling place in Bedford, and uh, <laughs> people are funny, um, uh, and so it kind of packs all the Bedford voters into one spot for voting. All right, Senator. So, a question for you. Andy, please. Okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, maybe I've heard this wrong, but the impression out there is that you sent a letter to a marijuana supporter that was taken as being a little bit threatening. It, it, am, am, am I misrepresenting in any way what happened? Yeah, it's obviously more complicated than putting in the press in a, in a two-minute answer. Uh, the person who responded to it isn't the, anyone that I know, um, but I'll be happy to talk to you at some point when we have time, but not standing here at the poll today, but at some point I'll be happy to come. So someone else made the comment that you were being accused of? Again, much more complicated than the press is reporting that in the middle of, of polling, I'd love to try and get through the day today on the poll. We'd be happy to sit down with you sometime and talk about it. All right, I'll catch you over at the house sometime. I truly appreciate it. All right, take care. Thank you. So apparently the AG's lady did get, uh, actually, she wound up getting sicked on the other side, so maybe there is a degree of fairness going on. Uh, I'm listening. Make sure the numbers we have 362 Democrats. Brian. Brian. Hi. Hi. Mary Atwell. Hi. Mary. Nice to meet you, Brian. Yeah. Yeah, we've got 2875 total voters, which is on pace. Well, they said 20%. That's what Gardner was predicting. 20% for us is about 3,000, so we'll go north of 20%. Right that, that gentleman is the new town moderator. Well, it's. 
I mean, for the demo. Oh, Mr. Sarsen, I've got a question for you. Yes. Uh, I understand that there is some conflict as, re as to regards to whether a person can leave a sign like lying down or lying up against yep. something. What is what is actually the rule on that? The uh, the Attorney General's office interprets the statute says that you cannot. It's uh, RSA 664.17. And that statute says you cannot affix a, a sign to public property. Now, obviously, public property would be, you know, a telephone pole or a street sign or whatnot, but they take the position that this is public property, so if you leave a sign unattended affixed to something like this pylon, uh, that would violate the, the rule. So that means standing against the pylon would be considered affixed? Affixed to it, I guess, because okay. some of them are taped. But uh, we had people here that were actually... Uh, so, for example, Andy had a couple signs over there, but he was standing over here. That's okay. And they didn't say anything for, you know, they didn't say that we had to remove anything. They just were citing the rule. Okay. Well, now, I did actually got some video of an AG's office lady over there that seemed to be objecting to signs leaning against that metal storage container. Yeah, the leaning is that a problem? No, leaning against wasn't a problem because there were people standing there. What she was looking at is, if you oh. see the other signs, uh -huh. they were taped to the pylons, okay. and it didn't look like anybody was around them, and in fact, the people were actually over here on this corner. But I she got the okay impression, again, I'll look at the video later, yeah. I got the impression she was objecting to signs being leaned just against that storage facility over there. Is that no, a problem? No, I didn't, didn't see that. I know she started talking about it over there, but I never, you know, the tape will tell you what it is, but I didn't see that she was objecting to that. Because that's not a fixed, you know. Leaning okay. is not a fixed. Okay. So it a sounds like there's is, some is gray taped. area. It's, well, the the rule is you can't off. affix it to public property. So yeah. what is a fixed? And as long as it's not a problem, they're not going to have a problem with it. They just what the AG's office does is they have a checklist of all the things they have to go through. Do you have the posted signs? Do you have whatever? So okay. she was going through the checklist. I appreciate your answers. The last moderator sure was good about answering questions, and so are you. I appreciate okay. that there hasn't been that much of a change in that sense. Sure thing. All right, you take care. Yep. Do you have a message for the Ron Paul movement? Do you have a product for the New Hampshire Liberty community? Then stop keeping it a secret. Head, head, on over to RidleyReport.com. Email Ridley and purchase an ad. There is no humiliation nor privation Ridley will not endure to ensure your message gets out. Ridley Report.com <laughs>